programs. So what advice would you have uh, for when they encounter uh, an un unexpected bump, uh, something that feels really big, whether it's, you know, failing um, a day one or day two, day three, or um, an exam or, or something else that it really puts like an extra delay of six months or one year or possibly longer. Like what kind of advice would you give to those students? I wouldn't take it to heart. Like essentially, um, like some people just aren't made for writing tests, but like you, as I've said about interviews, like just practice will help you get better. So even if you're writing like days two and three, three times, like you can still write another three times if you get approval from the board. So like, I wouldn't necessarily stress on the number and like with each time you write the pass rate goes up and up. So like you'll eventually you will get it. And like, there's nothing to stress about. Like, and honestly, when I failed, like I got the nicest messages from all the people at my firm. So it was like, Good. they let me know, like, yeah, like it's no big deal. Everyone failed. Like it's not the end of the world. Like we don't think any less of you. And that's completely true. Like I was still like I would at the time I wrote I be, was becoming a senior and so like I was senioring people who had passed the CP and they were like still coming to me with a lot of issues because I still had that experience yeah and so it's like not test like yeah. testing can just be difficult for some people and that's not an issue like it, people don't think less of you for it completely listen and I'm really glad that you said that because I often have people in my office hours that will say various things sometimes it's like oh well, I can't, like, I shouldn't be asking these questions. I should know this. Like, I should only be asking questions. And I'm like, no, you should be asking questions if you have questions. Like, that, that, yeah. that's the, the prerequisite to questions. Or like, oh, I, and there's guilt on both sides. Like, oh, I got 90, I shouldn't ask. Or, oh, I got 50, I should know this. Or I'm like, no. And plus, what I kind of <laughs> say, and I, I say this with like love and kindness, I'm like, my favorite students aren't always the A plus students. Like mm -hmm. I have celebrated so hard for a student that got the C plus, like, like nobody's business because I knew, you know, somebody that comes in with a 33% on their first test that come back um, with a C plus overall, like that is a <laughs> warrior. And that is the person that I want on my team. I want the person that has a bump brushes themselves up and is like, Hey, like, what do we do again? Cause that's relatable. Cause that's life. Life is bumpy. Mm -hmm. For sure.